In this tutorial we're going to take a look at material parameter collections. So I've created a material with a vector parameter which is just a simple blue color and also a scalar parameter called roughness. And let's set up a scenario where we might have all of these cubes with this material on it. And then we want to go into a trigger box or press a key and then all of these are going to turn to red. Now usually we would have to select all of these and then go into the level blueprint and create a, a dynamic material instance for them. And it can, you know, you might want to do these, this for like a hundred objects and it could just get too much, it's just going to take too long. So we need a quick way of doing it. And that's exactly what a material parameter collection could be used for. So if we just right click in the content browser and go to uh, materials and textures, you'll see material parameter collection. And let's just call this um, my collection. We'll open up my collection and then let's add, you see we have the scalar parameters and vector parameters. So we could have a new scalar parameter and we could call it roughness and a new vector parameter and we could call this color. And I'll make this blue as well. And now if we come back to the material and delete both of these we can then just right click and type in collection parameter. We'll grab that and you can see we have a collection and it says none. If we select that we can see the collections that we've just created. So we're going to choose that and we can choose the parameter name here and we have the choice between the roughness and color which we just created. So if I choose color and chuck this into the base color you'll see that it's now blue. And if I just uh, duplicate this and then choose the roughness as well we can throw that in there. Now these are really easy to change in blueprints as well. So we've got all of these with our collection parameter now applied with the blue color and let's make it so when we uh, press T for example we're going to turn them all to red. So I'm going to right click in the level blueprint and just type in T to get our key event and I'm simply just going to right click and type in set vector parameter value and it's going to ask for a collection and we've only created one so we've got my collection and we can choose color and we can promote this to a variable and we can say this could be called red color and if we hit compile we can choose the value here so if I just make that red and then connect T up to this and then jump in the game and we can see this work so I'm just about to press T and you can see they've all turned to red and what we could do is use a switch on integer driven by a do n and let's say uh, let's put in the value of 4 here connect the counter to the switch on int and the exit to the switch on int and then add in 4 pins well 5 pins but visually 1, 2, 3, 4 and let's connect 1 to this one and then we can duplicate this, duplicate this, duplicate this and we can promote these all to variables, this could be color 2 this could be color 3 and this one could be color 4 we'll hit compile and we could change all of these to different colors here So if we have one connected to that one, and then two to this one, three to this one, and four to this one. And we're going to make sure that on the fourth one, we'll hit the reset on the do n. And what this is going to do is essentially create a cycle where we can cycle through all the different colors on these cubes. So let's just try that out now. And there we go. We're cycling between all these different colors. So you can see material parameter collections are really handy for changing uh, colors and, and values on multiple different objects. So thanks for checking this tutorial out and I really hope it helps. Thank you.